beware of Satan's mirror mirage of deception. Jesus tells us the thief comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And the devil's preferred method to do that is actually his mirror mirage of deception. And this is the very trick that the devil has used to rob so many believers of the promises and the blessings of God which they themselves heard God formerly assure them that he was going to do. How does that work? Imagine thieves came up to your driveway and wrapped your car in some high-tech mirror reflective technology such that from a distance it looks like your car is not there because it simply is reflecting the environment and therefore it blends in. So your first thought from a distance could be whoa my car has been stolen and your next reaction will be the key determinant because the moment you say okay let me head over to the nearest police station and formally file a complaint for a stolen vehicle that is precisely when the thieves actually reverse and make away with your car so if you think about it your car was only stolen after you confirmed that it was stolen so when you went away to declare it stolen you created the window you agreed with the thieves or the devil for him to actually steal and that's how satan's mirror mirage of deception actually works so god has promised you something you have seen it in his scriptures you have had it imprinted in your spirit very clearly without any inch of doubt and what the devil does is he comes and starts painting mirages and illusions in your mind that that thing is never going to happen it's up to you at that point whether you're going to believe that mirage in other words endorsing and giving the devil the go ahead to actually now accomplish what he had given you the illusion that he had done or to resist and walk up to your driveway and say there is no way my car is stolen because God has shot me he's going to watch over it and you get there and then you bump into it and you realize oh it was just a mirage and that is exactly it for so many things from our health to our families to our marriages to our testimonies our blessings the devil brings a mirage that he has robbed us of these things and for that moment we can either agree with him thereby giving him the go ahead to do that or we can reject his verdict and seize back what God has rightfully given us. As a matter of fact, the very first scene as we see in scriptures is actually the result of Satan's mirror mirage of deception. So the devil is telling Eve, if you eat this forbidden fruit, you will be like God. But the funny thing is she was already like God. So that illusion that she would be like God is the deception. Another instance of the devil's mirror mirage of deception is in 1 Samuel 30 where David and his men return to their village only to realize that the village has been touched down and the enemy has carried their wives and children and cattle away and so what do the men do they immediately raise their voices and start weeping and crying for the loss so if they continue that way accepting that they have lost all what was theirs then the enemy keeps gaining ground and is going away with it but David inquires of the Lord shall I pursue these people can I still recover is there still a possibility to get this is this mirage that it has been stolen and we can't do anything about it real or is just a mirage and God tells him go ahead you recover everything and they pursue and they recover all so if they had sat there and accepted the mirage the reality the seeming reality that was before them then that would have been their reality eternally but once they reject it and walk on God's word and his promises they can recover all what he had promised them all of this actually came to life for me earlier this year when I made a reservation with my wife at a bus service and after calling to confirm my reservation per their instructions I start getting all kinds of stories about how whatever reservation I made is not available and you're trying to use some trickery to upsell me to a more expensive package and I'm thinking I have to be where I have to be by tomorrow on that board so whatever you're telling me is not my concern and so the agent really intentional on using all kind of skewed means to exploit me goes on all this rambling and before I realize it you're already getting frustrated and irritated and I drop the call and later that evening before going to bed in prayers I actually committed to God and I had this peace in my heart the Lord telling me well don't bother whatever you reserve is yours nothing is going to happen to it and so we show up at the station the next morning to board and somehow on one hand I'm believing God's word that he had told me to be at rest and not get agitated but on the other hand I'm all like if these people just try to give me any trouble here I'm definitely not having it and so we hand our documents and the lady asked me so did you call earlier to confirm your reservation and I say of course I did call yesterday and for a split second there I'm tempted to go 
on narrating well i called and the person said these and i said that and they said these and all these things got heated up and frustrating and i just remember to catch myself and i sit quiet that's what i was supposed to do i called i confirmed the reservation and that is it and so she gives our tickets we ball and the journey is smooth and i get back home and i'm meditating on these and i realize the devil was giving me a mirage a bait he wanted me to bite into that and lose on the smooth part that god had already created for me if i had gone on to want to keep hanging on the irritation and the frustration of the previous day i might have actually spoiled my chances of a smooth and quiet travel but ignoring all the distraction that the devil tried to create and focusing on what god has said peace quiet and calm i was able to experience things exactly as he had told me i will experience them so there is no doubt after god has given us his word that the enemy will come you no know, like a roaring lion just screaming around us trying to get our attention trying to pull all our attention to the negative things that may be happening around oh look at you might not be accepted for that application or you might not be selected all they're trying to get us to agree with him move our eyes away from what god has said and focus on the distraction get agitated and probably start taking the wrong steps walking off the path that god has told us to walk on because of his lies and deception but all we need to do is to silence him stay steady and focus on the path on the word on the trajectory that god has placed us on and this is not better observed in anyone's life than in the life of the apostle paul like in acts chapter 20 from verse 17 to 24 where he actually invites the elders and tells them about the various challenges he has experienced as an apostle trying to spread the gospel and even how everyone pretty much has testified that going to jerusalem he would end up in chains but verse 24 he says but none of these things move me nor do i count my life dear to myself so that i may finish my race with joy and the ministry which i received from the lord jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of god our focus here he says none of these things move me not the challenges i've experienced not the chains and the torments and the torture that everyone seems to be prophesying i'll see in jerusalem and the truth we do realize is when he goes to jerusalem he's put in chains indeed but those chains rather lead to the expansion of the gospel because from there now he goes to rome to testify to caesar and he pretty much spends the rest of his life there in a government provided apartment where he can preach the gospel at will even to administrators to governors to the saints in rome and that was really what looked like a mirage of fear and destruction was rather an avenue for god to spread the gospel even wider so if he had agitated if he had panicked per the seemingly mirror mirage of destruction and taken a different path then we wouldn't perhaps have several letters of the new testament that we actually have today so what mirage has the enemy tried to use to dissuade you from what god has taught you it's time to speak to those mirages speak to those mirrors to rebuke and to cancel them and to continue steadily and steadfastly walking in the word the promises and the directions of the lord and of his spirit so that's it for this video i hope it blessed you if it did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel and a big thank you to our patrons for supporting this channel you too can do the same the link is down below let me know what you think about this in the comments below and until the next video stay blessed